and uh, we're building this uh, schnook boat, this pilot house boat from Glenel. I got the uh, the pop up up because I've only worked on the um, on the front side, the bow of the uh, the boat. And uh, we got it all glued and screwed in place. Now, we didn't do the whole bolt, but we just did the first two front panels. Aft uh, is another thing. Dave, uh, I've got my scarf joints in and um, everything. I'll step back a little bit to give you a, uh, a better view of what's going on. Yeah, obviously, this is all scrap that's on top it's just a convenient place to put it doesn't really give a good uh out view of the um you know the project but uh look how nice this scarf joint is it's beautiful it's almost seamless and uh i'll just pop this spring off and kind of show you that's what the west system jig does on three eighths plywood uh hooked up to uh a Harbor Freight cheap uh, saw. It's it's wonderful. It I couldn't. Have, I don't know if that helps or not. I I kind of really regret. I bought just this uh, ABX uh, plywood uh, three quarters because um, I originally was gonna do this in just regular exterior ply and whatnot. But getting back to the plywood, um, I got. A deal on this plywood I, I live here in Florida I'm in uh, I'm here in Daytona Beach area and um, I uh, I got a deal down on this uh, bolt builder supply down in Fort Pierce and uh, this was before everything went up and I uh, I got a little utility trailer and I went down there it's a hundred and you know it's like 140 miles uh, you know for me one way to go down there but it sure be to uh, be paying the uh, the cost of um, you know paying for someone to ship it and uh, he just had a whole warehouse full of everything I needed and uh, the prices on plywood were starting to creep up and it's like um, you know I know I like on the 3 8 uh, board I probably I want to say every piece of plywood whether it was quarter inch or three eighths, and I got a few half inch uh, size pieces. Uh, it basically came out to about eighty dollars a sheet. You know, there was some higher, there was some cheaper, but it wasn't that much more than regular shit that you get at the uh, Home Depot, or I can get my you know, lumberyard guy to get. You know, the uh, like ABX um, or marine plywood that's made here in America. This is what they call Morant uh, plywood, and. Uh, I don't know if I got one of the um, ply. Oh yeah, there you go. Well, uh, that that got rained on. You can't see it too good. Well, anyway, they're all stamped uh, Morani uh, plywood, and um, you know it's just um, it, it's like the industry standard. It's British standard, um, whatever the hell the, the standard is, but. Let me tell you something. This plywood is is phenomenal. It blows the. I've used marine grade, grade uh, plywood on my other boats, and it's good. It's definitely an upgrade from regular Home Depot plywood, exterior plywood. But uh, this Morani uh, is really good. And then I guess if you want the real lightweight stuff, you go Akumi uh, plywood, and uh, he also had Akumi. But um, I was looking for something that was stiffer and ridger, and I really didn't have any compound turns that were really that hard. Um, you can tell here front that uh, I'm gonna have quite a little uh, dip to come in here, but uh, the way this 3 8 stuff bend, and this is gonna be two sheets of quarter inch, um, the quarter inch is not gonna have a problem making that bend whatsoever. Um, I'm happy with the uh, Maranti. Anyway, this is James. This is James's boat build, and uh, y'all be good.